Now, if you saw this question right off during an exam, you will probably pee in your pants. Anyway, I think most people would. So you're not alone. They look at this, they're like, ah, circuit got equation. How to do? Stay calm. Deep breaths. Read the question. A cell of electromotive force and internal resistance R is connected to a resistor. Okay. Maximum power can be dissipated by the resistor without overheating. So that means your resistor down here is dissipating power. I mean, it's getting hot. Lah. That's why it's dissipating uh, power. But there's a maximum limit to it. Okay. Pmax. What is the maximum value of E if the resistor does not overheat? Wow. How are we, where are we going to start? Let's start with maximum power P. Why not? P max equals to, shall we use I R, I square R? Yeah, I think we can do that. So current is flowing through this thing. So I square R. I here will be the maximum current. Hmm. I like this. This is a good start. This is a good start. Let's see if we can find what I is. Because if we can find what I is, we already have an equation. And you see, the equation has P in it. So maybe that's a good place to start. So we already have P. All these have P inside. So we got P. We got R. We need to find a way to include E and small r. That's where we come to the right side of the question. Let's see. I'm going to use Kirchhoff's law, also known as the EIR uh, equation, IR total. So the EMF equals to the current R plus R, external resistance, internal resistance. So your current here will depend on what the EMF is. And if you want maximum EMF hall, then this will be E max equals to I max R plus R. Oh, we can sub the I max in. So rearrange I maximum. Maximum current due to maximum EMF will be R plus R. Now let us sub everything into the left side there. So P, actually, not enough space. Uh, can I write down here? Nah, there's no space. Never mind, I'll just write everything on the right side. So the final step, we can say P equals to this whole thing, E over R plus R square times R. So we have to rearrange to show, solve for E. E equals to something, something, something. So let's do some rearranging. P over R equals to E over R plus R. Oh, move the square to the other side. And then one more step. <clears throat> Multiply both sides by the bracket R plus R. So I will get R plus R times P over R equals to E. So this will be my, by the way, maximum EMF, which will give the maximum current, which will give the maximum power. So let's see. What's the equation? R plus R, P over R, D. So the best choice here is D. So whenever you see a, a, a question... That has lots of equations like this. You gotta stay calm. Just pull out everything you know about circuits. They mentioned power, you throw in the power. EIR, you just know that, you throw it in. Okay, it, it this it's kind of a hint to know that you need E and you need P inside and you need R. Okay? So stay calm, solve your circuit question. Let's move on, almost near the end. <laughs>